All right, back again. Today we get out the old Super Famicom, and I figured we could put in this game here. Ganbari Guemon Yukihime Kyushutsu Emaki. So we'll pop that in, play some of that. Gotta love the long names. <laughs> but this is another great game by Konami. Um, if you're a big fan of the uh, Gambari Guemon series, then uh, I'm sure you'll be into this one if you haven't tried it already. What you'll notice here in your main menu is uh, you'll have one player, uh, two players. Uh, you can do continue from where you left off and then your stereo options. So, we'll just start it up here, one player. And due to the fact that the storyline is all in Japanese, um, unfortunately, even for myself, it's really difficult to understand. Look, Guemon has been around for a long time, a um, very popular character, and uh, this is a really sharp looking game, really well designed. But we'll just kind of skip out of the, uh, the uh, dialogue here, we'll just get into the game. So when we start off here, you can see that uh, it takes place in you know, Japanese traditional style. Um, like a lot of the Guiman series do, um, you know, just the, uh, the music going along with the picture is really sharp. And uh, all these characters continue to pop up. Um, it's kind of endless. And what you basically want to do is just stay out here and collect enough money. And once you get enough money, then you can go and uh, pick up some items. Right now he's moving pretty slow, and I don't know if it's uh, easy to see or not, but he is moving pretty slow. And uh, the more money that you get, uh, the more items that you can get. As you notice, I got a yo-yo now as well. If you hit the women, then you get minus 100 gold, which is fine. <laughs> so. But if you're into the Guaymon series and or you like traditional Japanese style games, uh, this would be another great one to pick up as well. By collecting enough of these scrolls, then you can get a weapon upgrade. Um, I have my little pipe, or cane as it may be. But uh, what we'll do is we'll go up here. This is our shop. Once we go into the shop, uh, you'll notice on the left there's some sandals. And in the bottom left hand corner, there's also a pair of sandals. Uh, as you buy sandals, the layers stack up. So now we have three, which is as fast as you can go. Uh, here's some food, and then pick up some bombs too if you want. And now the speed should increase a little bit more. Yeah, he's a lot faster than before. What's cool about this game is it goes from kind of like a free environment like this to a 2D uh, look uh, in some sections. And uh, it's a really fun game. I like this part the best because it kind of reminds me of uh, Castlevania 4, Super Castlevania 4. Just the music, the way that it's all set up here. Really great music. I love Konami for doing that. And I think maybe some parts of this music, you know, may have appeared in Castlevania 4. <laughs> sure sounds like it. Where it switches over to the uh, just the regular 2D look, and it's a lot of uh, a lot of interesting characters on the screen, a lot of good ideas. Like I said, it's a really sharp looking game. This is kind of cool here too. 
hit it a little bit late, but uh, nonetheless, it's alright. And you can see I got a super cane right now. video might end I think <laughs> but yeah I just wanted to give you a little bit of a look at uh, what Ganbare Guemon, uh, Yukihime, uh, Kyushutsu, uh, Emaki look like for the uh, Super Famicom and uh, if you can pick it up or if you can find it uh, for a decent price I'd definitely recommend it but uh, yeah like always I'll put up another video here soon so thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.